watch this entire video to find out how to add Apple CarPlay with Android Auto 2 in one interface and smartphone mirroring for iPhone and Android. Watch this entire video. BMW X6 demo presented on BMW 5 Series. Quality product since 2002. For product details, please see the description below this video. This product is 100% designed and manufactured in the USA. Please support American jobs. This product is 100% automotive grade product. Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to show you two interfaces. For BMW with CCC radio, 2003 up to 2010. It works with the large 8.8 inch screens on all BMWs including X5 and a smaller 6.5 inch screen. So both sides are good, 8.8 inch and 6.5 inch diagonal. We're going to show you wireless mirroring with front and rear camera inputs. You can wirelessly mirror iPhone and Android devices. And we're going to show you Apple CarPlay and Android Auto made in USA and they're all controlled with a factory dial joystick of the car, the factory iDrive, so no external product needed, same as 2018 BMW, same idea. So again, compatible with wireless mirroring for iPhone and Android, and Apple CarPlay with Android Auto, all controlled through the factory joystick, and compatible with 8.8 inch screen and smaller 6.5 inch screen, so both side screens are compatible on all cars. This particular demo we're going to show you on BMW 5 Series, all BMWs with the, this type of menu. It is CCC BMW menu, so when you have the info in the middle and you got four tabs around, it's compatible, so all BMW 2003 to 2010, X5 2007 to 2010. Okay, so first we're going to show you a particular vehicle disassembly. We have to remove the screen on top, which is only two screws and the screen comes out, and the radio on the bottom. Let's get to the disassembly. First step of the removal process, remove two screws so you can remove the panel. All you need is a T15 Torx. So basically this is your T15. You got two T15 screws that you're going to remove and the screen is going to come out. Once you remove the screws, simply flip down the screen and pull it out. Once you pull it out, you disconnect the connectors in the back because that's what we need to access. And this is the connector that we're going to work on. And the rest is behind the radio, so we remove the screen. This connect is a little bit hard to take out, but don't break it, just give it a little pull so it can come out. After you remove the screen, we're going to go ahead and remove the radio. Now how do you remove the radio? First we have to remove this whole panel, it just pops out. Using a simple tool like this, we're going to pop the panel out and it just comes out, really nothing is holding it. So we just need to find a place to grab the panel and it's going to come, the whole panel just held by clips everywhere. So let's start with one of the corners. So there's nothing holding this panel, there's no screws. Just the whole panel comes out all the way from one end to another. So you go pull it out and then there are harnesses here to disconnect. Here's okay, so a pull the panel out and in the back here you got a connector that we need to remove. So as you can see this is the back of the panel. There's nothing here except for this pins and the pins that go into the panel to so this plastic pieces and you can 
remove it and put it on as many times as you want. It's designed not to ever be loose or rattle. And all you got is one connector. Now, the radio, you got two Phillips screws you need to remove. And then from the bottom, we're gonna come out. So let's start by removing those two Phillips screws. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the screws on both sides. Now once you remove the screws, you need to go ahead and pull this panel out. So it starts from the bottom. So this whole panel pulls out. Okay, so this piece comes out actually here and needs so, so this comes out now. We need to come out, this wood has to come out too. So you can disconnect this piece. Just go ahead and disconnect it, there's nothing here. Disconnect all the connectors. Just needs a little bit of force. All right. So there's nothing here. There's nothing you can break. This is actually good quality metal pieces and you just need a little bit of force you got two clips here and these are all metal pieces so it just comes out and don't forget you got two connectors on each side when you're gonna be installed and reconnect so now the only thing that's holding it is those four screws these four screws are holding the radio for it to come out after you remove the screws you're gonna go ahead and pull this radio out you need to pull the radio out to access one of the connectors in the back so you pull the radio out and you can cover this over here, the material to gain access and you will need to gain access to the main connector in the back of the radio. And the main connector in the back of the radio is what's going to give you everything that you need. Do not forget to program the interface. All interfaces are stripped blank as they need to be configured by the installer or end user programming process will take less than one minute and can be performed using Windows or Mac computer. How to update the software. It doesn't matter what you're updating, whether you're updating camera interface, video in motion interface, wireless mirroring interface, or Apple CarPlay interface. The process of update is identical. Updater works on Mac and Windows based PC, so we have for both Windows and Mac. To update, you need a cable like this, it's a standard cable. One end of the cable is micro USB and the other is a standard USB. This goes into the computer and the micro USB goes into the interface. Connect this end into the computer, Mac or Windows. Connect the other end into your interface you're updating. Again, any interface. Once the interface is connected, everything information is going to appear on the screen and install desired software. Just for the test purposes, we're going to show you how to update it with uh, Cadillac CTS software, Video in Motion and hit install. So now it's installing and shows you progress bar and a percentage. So it takes only seconds to update it. So you download the updater from the website for Mac or Windows, that's gonna take you approximately 60 seconds. And then the update process takes only another minute or so. This is how to update the interface. So we're showing you the update process and the entire process only takes less than a minute.
okay, the update process is done and it's 99%, it says do not disconnect. In about a second, it's going to tell you that it's complete and you can disconnect the interface. There you go, device settings updated and you're done. So entire update process takes only about two minutes. You download software from the website for Mac or Windows, about a minute, and update takes another minute. And all you need is a cable like this. So USB cable to micro USB. It doesn't matter if you install Apple CarPlay with Android Auto or smartphone mirroring. Installation of the wiring harness is identical. For Apple CarPlay, you will need this microphone. It has a clip. It clips to the headliner from the back end. And this is hidden inside the headliner, so you will have just the microphone. You install the plug-and-play harness. You route the microphone through the side of the car. It will give you plug-and-play harness. You have the microphone input on it, you got audio output, RCA is the connect to car's auxiliary, so you run it through inside into car's auxiliary jack. You got four video inputs, but you're only using two. We can either support DVD player or front and rear camera, like in this car, we're going to show you front and rear cameras. And then you got the digital cables. So you're going to connect like this with a factory one this is gonna go back into the screen this you're gonna plug into the interface and you're gonna hide the interface in the back of the dash so basically with all the wiring harness and then this end of the wiring harness so this is your complete harness right here so factory cable in here this cable back into the screen this into the harness that plugs in into the back of the radio we're gonna show you that part Audio RCAs go to the audio auxiliary jack and then you got front and rear camera if you install any cameras. If not, you don't have to do anything. This is not used. And this is your microphone input. So basically this is your whole entire wiring harness, including microphone. So you're connecting to the factory cable back into the screen. This connects. This is a factory one back into the screen and this to the lower harness that you're going to install in the back of the radio and then you program it as shown in the previous step if you install any of the cameras you're going to use it in reverse rear camera in drive factory camera up to 10 miles an hour you can also enable to watch any of the cameras while driving at any time and all the controls of the via factory i drive button that are located in the middle. We'll show you how to control it in a second. Now let's install, so we'll install the top harness. Now let's install the harness that goes in the back of the radio. In the, you want to take out the radio and access the main connector. Once you access the main connector, we gave you an identical connector like this. The only difference is you need to move the fiber optic into here from the factory one. It is very easy to take out. You just release this thing. You pick it up and the fiber optic slides out. Just like this. Probably even do it with your fingernail. So slide it out. And then remember the position was in the last position so take the connector that we gave you and slide it into the same position. That's it. Now, this end, you plug it into the factory harness. And then, now the end with the fiber optic, you plug it back into the radio. And all you gotta do is connect these two ends together. This end 
that you have in the T-harness you install, it plugs in together with this end. You're gonna do it all behind the dash, obviously, but these are the two ends that have to come together. So the interface that you plugged in in the back of the radio, so you got a T-harness, the new T-harness that you install. You're gonna route it through the back of the radio and you're gonna connect it together with the, the harness that you install on top behind the screen with all the RCAs. And then this is going to plug in directly into the radio. Temporarily, we're gonna move the radio back into its position. We're not closing anything permanently because we're gonna test everything first. So when you're doing the installation, you wanna test everything and only then start putting all the wires neatly and closing everything. So for now, we're just putting it into the place its location so it's just going to sit there but we're not going to close it permanently let the radio hang out over here we're going to have to go and reinstall the screen back and then after we reinstall the screen we're going to put everything on make sure everything fires up make sure you can control the car play and we're gonna go from there so let's reinstall the screen if you install any camera you're gonna route them through here you're gonna don't forget to route your microphone from under the dashboard you can bring it up and nicely hide it uh, so microphone under the dash and hide it what are your RCAs you got two audio RCAs run them behind the dash into your car's auxiliary jack or a ref modulator a fan modulator if you don't have auxiliary if you're not installing any cameras you're done we're also going to install two cameras for the demo purposes to show you so after you install it put the interface and close it up all right so now you go ahead and connect your interface plug it in Then you will need a cable. We're using a long cable. This is an iPhone cable. It is pretty long. You can see how long it is. The reason it's so long is because we can route it through inside into the armrest. So this way it's like original. You can also run a regular USB cable so you can plug in either lightning or standard USB if you're using both iPhone and Android for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Uh, it's up to you actually the length of cable you use. We decided to use the long one like this so we can route it nicely into the armrest or any place in the car you like. And now you connected everything, reinstall the screen. So basically for now we you should be doing the same way. Before you close the car you want to test everything, make sure your installation is proper, make sure your program is proper. When you know everything is work, you start doing all the beautifications and closing of everything. This way you don't waste any time and you know that you did everything correctly and program everything correctly. Now we're going to reinstall the screen. All right, we're going to show you 8.8 inch screen and 6.5 inch screen, both iPhone, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The interfaces are controlled by the factory joystick, either this type of joystick. It's up to newer 2008-2009 vehicles you have this type of joystick and then you have this type of joystick so we control with any of the joysticks so this is your pretty much 3 series and older 5 series and 6 series this is X5 and X6 2007-2010 or also X101 series and this is your 5 and 6 series 2009-2010 also, this is available for newer cars, obviously. Uh, but this for CCC CarPlay and CCC BMW Android Auto. So let's reinstall the screen and check it out. Now, the video switching on any of those are done with the menu button. So it doesn't matter what joystick you have. Either one that you have to switch the inputs, you're going to do menu. Menu hold activates, menu on this, menu on this. On all of them it's the menu button that activates the interface. And the menu button is what makes it work 
to switch inputs. So if you're using additional inputs for cameras or DVD, it's always menu button. So basically press and hold menu to activate smartphone mirroring. Press and hold menu to activate Apple CarPlay. Single press cycles the inputs and then press and hold to go back into the navigation. Now we're going to reinstall the screen and show you how everything works. So basically all the controls, so it doesn't matter which joystick you use, which type of joystick you're going to use, you, you always got left, right, up, down, enter. So on any joystick that you're using, whether it's this kind or this kind, it's left, right, up, down, enter. So left, right, up, down, enter. All the features are the same, we're gonna show you. So it's basically it's natural controls. So all controlled naturally. So if you need to go down, rotate through the menus in CarPlay and then draw it already go down. And basically this is the controls. Put your interface out of the way for now. Take your screen and install the screen back into the car. Connect two connectors, the video plug that's on the side and the power plug in the back or it could be both on the sides. So we're going to plug everything in, start the car and make sure that everything works. So we'll put the screen, not permanently, but just for it to stay there we're gonna start the car the screen comes on now doesn't matter what joystick you have either one you're always gonna press the menu button to switch so I'm gonna go ahead and press the menu button over here and when I press the menu button I'm gonna be in CarPlay So this is the CarPlay menu. Now we're connecting the phone. It says CarPlay. And the CarPlay is going to appear on the screen. So once the CarPlay appears, so this is your CarPlay. Now I can control with the joystick. So as you hear me, I'm rotating the joystick as I'm rotating the highlights change its position. Now we made it so it is in the right position. Now we also got camera, rear view camera, we got front camera, and we got CarPlay. The CarPlay is not stretched because otherwise the icon would stretch. This is its normal position, same way as the CarPlay would be displayed on the new 2018 Mercedes or BMW or any other car. So if you follow the blue highlight, this is our home button right here. This is our recent apps. So we got the phone app. So obviously the phone opens up and we can dial the number. And I'm controlling everything through the joystick. So it uses the factory joystick. So basically rotate, enter. So rotate number three, enter. Rotate number four, enter. We can go back into the menu. Check cameras. Now, to exit out of the menu, go to home, it brings us home, and then doesn't matter what menu you're in basically, if you go into maps, inside maps we go to destinations, inside destinations you can choose to go to voice, either you can activate it by Siri or by keyboard, and inside the keyboard you can enter whatever address you want. So this is CarPlay, same CarPlay as in any car. This is not mirroring, this is actual CarPlay. So, now that we know everything works, we can go ahead and test out Android Auto. You got your recent apps here, so if you see I'm highlighting the recent apps. So I can go into Maps, and then the running app becomes on top. I can go into any other app that I want to. I can go into phone calls. I can go into my recent. I can go to my contacts if I have any contacts. I can go basically anywhere I want. 
and audio is heard through auxiliary so you set your radio to auxiliary but basically you know you get real carplay in reverse you get your rear view camera in drive you get front camera up to 10 miles an hour after 10 miles an hour the camera will shut off if you're not adding any cameras it's okay you don't have to do anything and it doesn't matter what screen you're on so you see I'm on the carplay screen I got the cameras if I get out of the carplay screen on the factory screen I do the same thing in reverse I get rear view camera in drive I got the camera cameras we can change if you want as a video input we can make it full screen same thing in reverse if you really want to have full screen you can do the full screen all right, but it knows the last state. So if you're on a home screen or in a CarPlay screen, you can also do reverse, and it's gonna do the same thing. So this is 8.8 inch screens that for cars with navigation on BMW CCC up to BMW 2010. We're also gonna show you six and a half inch screen. After we do the 10 inch screen, so you can see it works on both. Uh, but this is the 10 inch screen, and you get all your CarPlay. So if you ever try CarPlay in another car, CarPlay is a CarPlay in any car. All updates are inside CarPlay. So if tomorrow they add Waze or Google Maps in iOS 12 or, or any other features, it's inside the CarPlay. You don't have to update anything. Whatever features are added inside the iPhone, it will automatically translate into your screen over here. So basically, you got all your options here. So whatever apps you install, if you install a bunch of apps, you're going to see all your apps. So I'm just going to connect another phone with, an, with a lot of apps and you'll be able to see that if I connect another phone and this phone has many more apps watch this once the CarPlay connects you're gonna have way more apps look at the amount of apps we got here so whatever apps you install this is what you get so this is just like CarPlay in the BMW modern day we're going to tune in radio radio launches when the app boots up, we can select pretty much any. We can go to local radio, select any station, and basically the station is going to play for you. All right, now we're going to show you a demo of Android Auto, and we're going to show you a demo of six and a half inch screen. If you have Android phone, you take your Android phone, you plug it in. Android Auto appears on the screen. And you basically use your Android Auto right on the car screen. And that's it. You have your Android right on the phone or right on your front screen. And you control everything through the joystick same way. So this is your menu on the bottom right there. So you got your music apps. And again, everything, any joystick you use, just like in CarPlay mode, any joystick that you use, same idea. Rotate left, right, enter, and menu to change. So basically, it's menu button to change inputs. Press and hold to activate the interface. Press and hold to deactivate. Left, right, enter, and down, up, if you need, like, in this mode. And then we got the main menu in the middle. Then you got the phone calling. So if you got apps installed, it's all going to show. We're just showing you basically. But you got Android Auto. This is your Android Auto, just like any other car, just like a 2018 BMW or any car that has Android Auto. This is not mirroring. This is real Android Auto. If you got Waze installed, you can have Waze. You can have both maps. You can have Google Maps, and you can have Waze. So we got the maps. We actually don't have Google nothing running here. So all your apps are here your music apps are here so if you have a couple of music apps running you're gonna have your music apps and you can select you just gotta install a couple of different music apps and that's it other than that you can press and hold go back to factory screen press and hold the menu button and again you enter in carplay and this is android auto this is your android auto menu you just enter whatever you want to do now we're going to show you everything the same on a six and a half inch screen All right, so now we're gonna demo six and a half inch. Don't mind the factory screen because it's the radio from the big 
8.8 inch screen but we're gonna show you how the CarPlay and Android Auto works. So you're gonna press and hold the menu on your iDrive and now you got perfectly center image and on that image we're going to show you Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So first let's show you the demo of Android Auto. So we're connecting our phone and Android Auto appears. So if your car has no navigation a six, six and a half inch screen you can have your Android Auto right there, Android Auto, swipe to unlock. And now you got the Android Auto menu down here. So whatever you select is now going to appear on your... Um, so you got the main menu. See everything is perfectly centered and everything else. There are no issues. You got the home screen. We got our phone. If you have the phone, you can dial your phone. If you have music apps, obviously this is your phone. Press down. Return to home. And then over here where the music, if you have music apps installed, she says play some, but we don't have music app. You can install Shopify, uh, yeah, tune in radio and wow, I forgot the name of the app for a second there uh, the Spotify Pandora you know all kinds of apps you can install so basically this is six and a half inch Android Auto and we're gonna show you six and a half inch Apple CarPlay and then you got the same way you got the camera in reverse you got the rear camera as you can see in drive you got the front camera right there in park it goes back to Android Auto screen if you got your factory you can by pressing the menu you can cycle through the cameras and if you got your factory screen again, this is the factory screen. You put in reverse, rear camera, in drive, front camera up to 10 miles an hour. And you can manually cycle all the cameras you want. Press and hold the menu. You got the Android Auto. And cycle. Now let's show you iPhone on a 6.5 inch screen. Alright, so now we're going to connect to our iPhone. So press and hold the menu on your iDrive joystick. The six and a half inch again everything is perfectly centered connect your iPhone car plays on car play comes up on the screen you control everything through the iDrive joystick all the options are here that's it you got six and a half inch screen no navigation cars and you have your car play you got all your applications as I'm rotating the joystick you can follow the blue highlight phone music maps messages now playing return podcast audio books and this is all done with the joystick you can go into tune and radio obviously play pause over here you got the home button press enter to go home you got recent apps you got your phone calls this here requires internet connection obviously and cycle the cameras again and then you got your maps and then you got your you can go ahead and dial the phone so let's go ahead now. Two, one, two, five, 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 one, two, one, two. And you can go ahead and just simply call. And that's it. It's going to make a phone call. We don't have the SIM card, but it will make a call otherwise. So you got Android Auto on BMW CCC. We make it for all other cars. We make it for all BMWs and all makes and models. For newer one, this particular demo is from BMW CCC 2003 to 2010 radios. We make it obviously for the CIC as well. All right, so now we're gonna demo 8.8 inch screen. If you see any lines running, they're really not there in real life. This is just for the, that's how camera is capturing the screen. So again, press the menu to switch to mirroring. You can do iPhone or Android mirroring. You see it's not full screen. You can do it full screen. You see wide image, large and normal. This is its normal position, larger and wide. So this is normal aspect ratio, you know, this is how the phone is supposed to be displayed, basically. Again, you can do, you know, Waze application, 
or any other app you can change you know if you want if you really like the full screen you can change it to full screen or normal or full screen videos or anything like that let's try YouTube app actually so this is YouTube video wide large wide screen it's pretty dark video some kind of jet commercial oh there you go so you got normal large and wide normal large wide so this is full screen image pretty much if you like it full screen this is your 8.8 .8, and you can change any size that you like iPhone and Android you can do wirelessly and iPhone through the cable is my favorite personal you run the cable through inside and you got again you got your cameras rear view camera and the cameras all save its own settings you can do and then same thing from factory screen so if you go back to factory screen camera same way reverse drive if you're not installing cameras there's no difference nothing's gonna change in reverse basically it's gonna stay in the screen whatever you're watching whether it's factory screen or mirroring screen now let's demo mirroring mirroring works on both six and a half inch screen and 8.8 .8. this is six and a half inch demo press and hold the menu to switch and there you go you got mirroring this is your mirroring on a phone. Mirroring, there's not much to demo. Whatever you see on the phone screen, same thing you're going to see on your car screen. So basically duplicates your phone screen to the car screen. You can mirror Android wirelessly, iPhone wirelessly, over the wire, my preferred way. Run the wire into the middle of the armrest and it's faster connection and it also charges the phone. So basically, if you have no navigation, you can use Google Maps or Waze for navigation. And it's mirroring basically creates a mirror image of your phone so whatever you're running here you can run there you can have your Google Maps Waze let me show you Google Maps actually let me show you Waze so basically right there you got your Waze so if your car has no navigation I have navigation you don't even need Apple CarPlay and Android Auto if you want a cheaper version you got a full screen right there mirror iPhone or Android wirelessly iPhone you can do with a wire my favorite way is with a wire and let me show you the demo of mirroring on 8.8 .8 inch screen which is the bigger one and the same thing you got the cameras you got reverse camera and then drive you got front camera and then park you got back to your mirroring or if you're in a factory menu same thing in reverse you got rear camera and drive front camera if you're not installing any cameras you don't have to worry about it nothing's gonna happen when you switch to reverse or into drive it's just gonna stay in the factory screen or on the mirroring screen but Thank you for watching. Please click the logo on the left hand side to subscribe to the channel. Subscriptions work on smartphones, tablets and computers. Please like the video, please click the notification bell and please leave a comment about this video. If you want to watch another video, please click the video on the right hand side.